So, hey, Teomnes, I'm going to be going over our last chapter of all of Caesar so far this year, of chapter 20 in book 6. If you'll soon know that we're done. Quae uh, Kiwitates, Caesar, uh, in chapter 19, just spoke about some of the weird laws, uh, sort of, or weird rules that the culture of the uh, Gauls have, and then he's going to start talking about the Kiwitates, the states of Gaul. And Ea is what Kwai is. It's Et Ea. And these states. Um, commodious is a comparative adverb. Administrare, this complementary infinitive, to this passive verb, existimare. And suum rem publicum is the accusative direct object of our infinitive. Rem publica. That phrase is the republic, but the Gauls do not have a republic. They have states. That's what, uh, when Caesar refers to it as a republic, he's talking about the states. And they haven't, they have made sacred. Sanctum goes almost like um, an, an infinitive here. Um, and then legibus is an ablative of manner. And that's the word with, with laws. They have made sacred this with laws. If anyone, quid is anything, that's a direct object. If anyone will have accepted this future perfect tense verb, will have accepted anything, de republica, about the state, from neighbors, and then this Rumore out fama is an ablative of means by rumor or uh, by rumor or rumor. So if anyone will have accepted anything about the state from neighbors, either by rumor or by rumors, I guess, um, that this purpose was so that that deferred is a subjunctive verb, and we have to add that word quis that anyone that that one guy. Um, reports to the magistrate, nor cum quo alio, alio, these are ablatives, and it's nor with, and nor with anyone else, he communicates this stuff, or he shares with anybody else. So the Gauls, they're not allowed to um, spread rumors about the state, because often, Homines temerarios aque imperitos. Um, here, this long phrase, homines is an accusative. It's actually the accusative subject. Um, with these infinitives, these passive infinitives in IDS, in direct statement. And also this infinitive, concilium capere, with this main verb. Often, it is known, this is an impersonal verb, it has been known that men, terror temerarios, uh, reckless men, and brash men, are terrified by falsis rumorius, by um, False rumors. It's like, you know, some guy spreading the fact that uh, there's a, uh, a storm of asteroids coming to hit Earth. People are going to get scared. And they are urged on to, uh, to uh, crimes, even, because of these rumors. And they come up with plans about the sumis rebus, about the highest matters, this is life or death. So when someone gets scared, who's brash and irrational, and because of some rumors, they can start doing things that will hurt other people, is, is what he's finding out. And the Gauls banned this by law. They made sure that you cannot spread rumors by law. And this next... Um, Phrase is kind of weird. Magistratus is a nominative. The, the magistrates, this is our main verb. They hide 
things, we have to add the word things here. They hide things. Which are seen or are deemed necessary. We have to add a couple words here with we says sent this relative clause verb is passive, which are which have been seen to uh, uh, seemed necessary to be hidden. We have to add. And I'm gonna move over here where uh, maybe I have a little bit more space. You have to add the word nekese necessary and the word occultare, which is a passive infinitive. So in other words, the magistrates they're gonna hide whatever they deem necessary to be hidden from the people and they produnt this is our next main verb they reveal or they hand down um, they give forth um, we have to add the word uh, the, uh, things here again which and that this which goes with the uh, things here, which the magistratus judicaverun they judge to be out of necessity. So, um, and they do this to the multitude. This is a date of indirect object. So. The book has a nice note about how um, the magistrates will only share a little bit with the common people. And the reason why is because they don't want the people to kind of go crazy. They don't want them to spread rumors. They kind of want to leave things hidden, which makes sense in some way. But for the Romans, it's kind of weird. Um, you know, he's reporting everything that he's kind of seeing to the people which is very opposite of what the Gauls do. And it's also, we find out in this last thing, this impersonal main verb that's passive, it is not permitted to speak. This deponent, uh, deponent infinitive is complementary about the state unless through conchilium, unless through a council or a gathering. So the Gauls, the book has a really uh, great note about, they were not allowed to assemble on their own unless there was some reason to talk about the state and the government. Um, and by doing so, uh, the right to assemble to discuss these um, public matters uh, you know, was really uh, not very well known and not very well perceived in ancient times. Uh, it's mostly because they're scared people will rise up to defeat, you know, the nobility. You know, in, in the United States, we have the freedom of speech and the freedom of assembly. We have that uh, as part of our um, constitution. Um, so it's it's really outrageous for us to kind of view this. But for the Romans, um, they're like, you know what? Uh, this would make a little bit of sense because we don't do the same thing. Caesar, in this last paragraph, really what he wants his readers to know is um, about this kind of wild laws that they have about, you know, speaking about the state and being careful about what they have to say, which the Romans, they're like, uh, you know, we can say what we want, but, um, you know, not being able to assemble is something they kind of understand. Kind of a weird place to end off, especially after all the human sacrificing in this book. Um, I hope that this has been really helpful for you all. Uh, Bali te omnes, take care. I am so proud of you all that we finished. Uh, what an accomplishment to say you've read uh, all the AP uh, necessities out of this freaking book about Caesar. So, nice job.